going to show you something that's um, that identifies the presumption of law. Now, this word here, presumption, is something that is assumed or something that exists until the fact is sort of known. So when they call it, and you'll hear this a lot, um, lawyers and in the courts, it's a, it's a presumption of law. But um, I'm going to explain to you today where that comes from, because if I were to ask you, well, tell me where the presumption is, what's the difference between the presumption and the fact? Well, uh, not many people probably think about that. Well, I'll, I'll show it to you. <laughs> Commonwealth of Australia. If I were to ask you, how would you read that? What would you read? Commonwealth of Australia. Or is that presumption? Does that Commonwealth of Australia really read Commonwealth of Australia? Is that a fact or is it presumption? Well, I'll translate this all uppercase symbolic text, which is a Latin based text, uh, into English and we'll see how it comes up. Full stop of full stop. If this is a form of sign language or Egyptian hieroglyphic text or a Latin based text that is um, that operates under the grammatical rules or the Latin grammatical rules. If we translate this into the English text, Commonwealth of Australia, it reads Commonwealth full stop and of full stop and Australia. So that's what caused this to be a presumption, because in fact it does not read Commonwealth of Australia. It reads Commonwealth and of and Australia. Now in order to bring this type of text factually and make it read Commonwealth of Australia, according to uh, Article 11, 147 of the Chicago Manual of Styles that deals in uh, ASL or American Sign Language, we have to hyphenate, hyphenate. When we hyphenate between the Commonwealth and the of and the Australia, that then comes back to Commonwealth of Australia. <laughs> Can you see what's going on? This is the presumption that creates the English to look like that, which does not read Commonwealth of Australia. And then if we want to translate this or create in sign language, uh, Commonwealth of Australia or to write Australia, we have to hyphenate that, like I say. And what it says is um, in order to join three words in sign language together to make, to create a sentence in sign, 
which is the sign language. And remember, you have to sign a document and to get the sign. Um, you must hyphenate between the three signs, or between two or more signs, uh, in order to string a sentence together in sign. And of course, um, that's not what's happening. So when you see your name, um, written on a driver license or some sort of a, a Medicare card or some sort of government issue card or a bank um, issued or power bill. When you see a name written like that, it translates into not your name. So if the all uppercase text that appears on all government, private government documents and banking documents and power bills etc. To render your true correct name you need to hyphenate it. Now of course um, even if you think your name is John Paul Smith, you will probably notice also on your birth certificate a name looking like this. Where your Christian name and your surname appears on the one page, but grammatically there's no joinder between the two. So if you think your name is John Paul Smith, there's no evidence of that. There's no evidence because this does not read John Paul Smith because um, there is no correspondence between two languages on one document. So there's no correspondence between Latin or American Sign Language and proper English. So on this document there is a choice of Christian name or surname. It's not Christian name and surname, it's a Christian name or surname. So the presumption of law down here, that's your real name, that's all you have, that's all you were given. The presumption of your name comes to this, which is a presumption of law, but it's not a fact. So even in your names, even with the all uppercase text uh, translated back into English, in this case if we want to write Commonwealth of Australia in true correct English sense, we would have to hyphenate in between the signs. And same with John Paul Smith. Um, when you see this on documents, that would read John Paul, full stop, Paul Smith. Would not read John Paul Smith, it would read John and Paul and Smith. And same with on your um, certificate, uh, your birth certificate, your state birth certificate. There is no joinder actually on the, on the name itself but it's, you've presumed that your name is John Paul Smith because you're ignorant to the grammatical rules of Latin and the grammatical rules of English. One rest constitutes a joinder of a name. So the one name, Commonwealth of Australia, with the capitalised letters, brings that into three words, Commonwealth and of in Australia, come together to form one name. which is capitalised. This is not capitalised, that's symbolised. This is, uh, that's capitalised. So it's just a grammatical, just gramma grammatical knowledge or the, not, the knowledge of the grammar, the grammatical rules between 
American Sign Language or Latin because American Sign Language, which is the all uppercase text, operates under the grammatical rules of Latin and English operates under the grammatical rules of English. So one rest in English constitutes a joinder. To break these into two to three separate words, you need one rest and a full stop or two rests will do the same thing. It's another thing they use on, and whereas in um, um, Latin, one rest constitutes a break. So that's why in Latin, they've got to put a mark. If you look at ancient Latin on the net, or uh, put, put in Google ancient Latin, you'll find that it has a small triangle mark or some sort of a mark in between the signs that creates the, um, the joiner between the, the three uh, uh, signs. And um, the Vatican, its official language is ancient Latin. Uh, the official language of man is the Queen's proper English. This, um, without the marks, is legally known as in Black's Law Dictionary as Dog Latin and in English it's uh, called Debased Latin. The word debased means criminal and immoral. Whereas uh, Dog Latin is uh, the Latin for the illiterate because it's Latin operating under the grammatical rules of English, which is impossible. But it does create the presumption of law. Not the fact. <laughs> Not the fact. Not the fact. It creates the presumption. So when you see this type of all uppercase text without the hyphens in between it, you're looking at a debased, a dog Latin text legally, or a debased um, text under the Webster's English Dictionary, which is really a, a, a crime, criminal and immoral. And that is the key, the secret key to the, to the new world order, is how they've gotten the authority over the people of the world is because the people have become so ignorant and dumbed down from society, but it's not, the dumbing down is actually just the grammatical. It's a grammatical dumbing down society. So that when you read this stuff, you read Commonwealth of Australia, you assume it's Commonwealth of Australia, but in actual fact, it's not. That reads Commonwealth and of and Australia. <laughs> which, is a, which is a really dirty trick. Um, and that creates the confusion and just what the elite want you want it to be. They want it to be just um, a fiction, an illusion, in order to confuse you and plunder your birthright and your true common law rights to your land. They throw you into the sea of fiction and uh, that's where you'll remain until you start to learn your grammar. So when you start reading the signs, you will know how to read the signs and uh, maybe uh, escape from this um, absolute fraud that's been perpetrated against the people of the world.